Raquel and welcome to the New Days channel. New Days, where every day is new down to every hour, every minute, and every second. New things are coming for you because the universe is always working out for you and never against you. Thank you for joining me on my channel. Don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button and leave a comment. Let me know what's on your mind. Today, I'm going to talk about the same thing that I talked about on my blog post. Um, if you go to newdays.com, you can check out my blog. And I talked about push past the past because we all have a tendency to go back to say what we should have done or we could have done. And it, it all we do is create from that space. So I did a, a entire blog post on pushing past the past. Like I said um, in the video yesterday, I for one have a problem with going back in the past. It's been a challenge for me going back in the past and bringing up what I could have done, what I should have done what what I would do you know when if it was supposed to be a different way it would have been that way so it brings us to acceptance and accepting what we the choices that we made because we made the choice you know that was at our level of consciousness at the time that means we we did what we thought what was right so we have to stop beating ourselves up for the choices that we made I mean it's one thing to, you know, go back in the past and think of something grand, something, you know, that made you happy, an accomplishment when you won an award, something that made you feel good, something that you, you completed in life that brought you happiness. And you go back and you grab onto that emotion and you use it to propel you to higher vibrations. That's, that's a good thing. That's a good thing. It's when you go in the past and you think about that pivotal moment when you made this choice that led you to one choice and another choice and another choice and or and, and, and it led to a result that was not pleasant for you and it wasn't a pleasant experience. I for one know that because I beat myself up for years for taking a biopsy test because my doctor said, oh, hey, she called me up, short story, you know, I'm gonna give the short version. She said, you're gonna die. You know, if you don't take this test, you, your kidneys are completely gone. So even though I felt in my, my gut and my intuition not to go I went and I took the test and the test seemed to turn out fine but I caught an infection in the hospital that subsequently uh, took out my kidney function within uh, the matter of like two weeks I don't even know if it was a whole two weeks and then I ended up on dialysis and through dialysis my mom gave me a kidney she donated one of her kidneys to me and here I am standing before you guys right now I'm running up on my fourth anniversary here at the end of October, October 30th. So I was blessed to get a kidney when there's so many people who are waiting for kidneys and who may not get one. And you know, just a, a lot of things that goes into being on dialysis is really hard. So all I could ever go back and think about was that moment where I had a chance to not go take that test. And I took it anyway. And it led me to this point. But then my mom made me realize and you know just talking to other people they made me realize all the wonderful people i've met the journey that it sent me on just from making that one choice like it was in my fate like before i came here i was going to make that choice apparently and it just had to i had to lead myself to an acceptance and it, it pushed me to a higher spiritual consciousness also and it made me more aware of the things that i was doing saying and being a part of and it also made me look at life as, you know, let go of things that don't serve me. No things that no longer serve me to let them go and do whatever I need to do to find joy in the things that I love to be happy. And that's how you push yourself past the past. You push yourself past the past by doing what you love, doing what's in your heart to love, you know. And I also wrote about on that blog a sway test. And I'm going to give a quick example and then I'm going to get out of here and I'll do a part two later on tomorrow or something like that. But I want to do the sway test really quick and show you what you can do to make decisions so that you won't lead to a, a situation where you say, uh, I shouldn't have done that or whatever, you know, and I do this uh, a lot. So all you have to do is take a deep breath. You know, I do, I start everything with a deep breath. From the diaphragm and then you stand with your feet facing forward and you make sure that your body is in a relaxed state that's why it's important to me to take a deep breath 
and then you ask yourself a question, have a question in mind, something that you know is true. Is my name Raquel? My body went forward. Your body goes forward for questions that are correct and ones that are not, it'll go backwards, okay? So I'll say, my name is Deborah. Body goes all automatically back. So you can ask yourself questions to make decisions like, is this job right for me? Um, should I have a conversation with said person over some words that we uh, that they may have said to me? Should I let this go? What you know? What, what where do I go from here? You know, it's, it's yes and no questions, but you can have a full conversation with asking yourself what should you do, what you should what should you not do. And it, it has to be put in a, a positive context, a positive context, because what it's doing is it's bringing forth your subconscious mind and your unconscious mind to what you really want, what's best for your, your body system, what, what would feel good to you. So it's gonna not gonna lie to you. It's, it's a, it's, I'm telling you, it's 100% true. If it tells you to get away from something, get away from it. It told me to just leave a, a, a new job that I started. It told me to, you know, stop working that job. It, it did, and it was completely right. Even though everything in my system was saying, oh, the money that I could make out, I could do this, but it was telling me that's not right for your body's energy system. And I had to let that go. And I am grateful that I did because it led me to better places. Like I'm here with you right now. But I just wanted to show you an example of the sway test. And like I said, it works for yes or no questions. And your body will sway forward on yes, and it will sway backwards on no. Like even, you know, like if you should be, should I be dealing with this person? Should I call this person? And you can name the person's name. Your body will tell you what's good, what's the best thing for your energy system. So that was what my blog post was about today. I really enjoyed writing about it. I wrote way too long. And... Um, you can subscribe to my blog and you can get every post before I even post them on social media sites and enjoy some of my writings. Leave a comment. Don't forget to hit the like, uh, subscribe and share button. Um, leave a comment if you have a comment for me. I appreciate you joining me in this short video. Thank you. God bless you.